communicate the occasion of the official visit to the Republic of Uganda by His Excellency Faustina Chandi Tuadera, President of the Central African Republic from the 7th to the 10th of October. Faustina Chandi Tuadera was received at State House in Tibet on the 8th of October 2024 by his host, his Excellency Yuri Kaguta Museveni. The visiting president was accompanied by ministers and other senior government officials. The heads of state held a tete-a-tete -tete in a cordial and friendly atmosphere and also discussed bilateral, regional and international matters of mutual interest with their delegations. Their Excellencies hailed the excellent cordial relations between the Republic of Uganda and the Central African Republic as demonstrated through exchange visits of, senior, of several senior government officials and others called the importance of utilizing the existing avenues to galvanize economic relations for the mutual benefit of the two peoples. And reintegration of former Lords Resistance Army, other A members, and education and exchange cooperation between the Republic of Uganda and the Central African Republic. The heads of state noted the abundant, unexploited natural resources between the two countries and therefore directed their respective ministries of agriculture, education, energy and mineral development to meet and undertake cooperation frameworks on how the two countries can exploit natural resources for social economic development of the two peoples. His Excellency President Yoweri Kaguta Museveni expressed gratitude to His Excellency President Faustin Achange to Adera for honoring his invitation and for the fruitful discussions. Thank his host, His Excellency Yoweri Kaguta Museveni, the government and the people of the Republic of Uganda for the warm reception and hospitality accorded to him and his delegation during their stay in Uganda. This communique is done at Entebbe, Uganda on the 8th day of October 2024 and signed by High Excellency Sylvie Valerie Baipo Temo, Minister of Foreign Affairs for the Central African Republic and His Excellency Honorable General Kodomo J.J. Abubakar, Minister of Foreign Affairs for the Republic of Uganda. Your Excellency, you are most welcome to Uganda. Votre Excellence, soyez très bienvenue en Uganda. We have had a very good discussion bilaterally. Nous avons eu très bonne discussion bilatérale. And the communique has captured most of the points. Et le communique a bien traité toutes les questions. The potentials of Africa Le potentiel de l'Afrique are great. Sont énormes. The problem has been taking advantage of this of this potential. Le problème était jusqu'ici ne pas prendre avantage de cette possibilité. And the problem has been mainly because of internal weaknesses in the African countries. Et le problème était à cause des problèmes internes dans des pays africains. But also, mais aussi the greed the foreigners who manipulate. Le, la question des étrangers qui continuent la manipulation. And the experience of many of the African countries, the way they have suffered is very, very annoying. L'expérience de comment beaucoup de pays africains ont souffert est très ennuyant. We have a, the good example of Congo. Nous avons un bon exemple le Congo. Where Patricia Lumumba was killed by foreigners. Oui, où Patricia Lumumba a été tué par des étrangers. And by their agents. Et leurs agents. And the, that experience 
was repeated in many other African countries. Et cette expérience a été répétée dans beaucoup de pays africains. But Mais, the imperialists are fighting a losing battle. Les impérialistes mènent une guerre à perdre. Because parce if, que if you provoke the people, si vous pro provoquez le peuple, they also deepen their capacity. Le peuple aussi va mettre leur capacité. Uh, this is what happened here in Uganda. Voilà ce qui s'est passé ici en Uganda. We were able to build a strong internal force. Nous avons pu construire une force interne, intérieure, qui était très forte. Starting with the student movement. Commençant par le mouvement des étudiants. Which then eventually went into the armed struggle. Qui a, par après, se joint à la lutte armée. And then we linked up with the peasants. Et nous nous sommes mis d'accord <coughs> avec the peasants. les paysans. So, here we have a strong base. Nous avons, nous avons une base très très forte. In terms of the politics. En termes de la politique. The armed forces, les forces armées and, uh, the economy now. et l'économie maintenant. The, so we are moving. Donc nous sommes en train de bouger, nous bougeons. And I can see a of other are up. Et je vois également beaucoup de pays africains qui sont en train de se de, de développer. We are therefore happy to share our experience with the Central African Republic. Nous sommes donc très heureux de partager notre expérience avec la République centrafricaine. And the areas mentioned uh, are good starting points. Et les questions déjà lues dans le communiqué sont font de très bons points de part de départ. When I was discussing with His Excellency General Katumba, we talked about the road. From, from West Nile through Isiro to Obo. Quand je, je parlais uh, avec uh, M. Uh, Katumba, on a parlé des routes de communication à l'ouest, Isiro, Obo, et ainsi de suite. Because that would link us, we would, would have to work with the Congo government and the Central African Republic to, to work on that road. Et la, c'est que euh, la construction de cette route demande notre coopération avec l'Afrique centrale et le RDC. There is another road from West Nile to South Sudan to to, to Ye, to Maridi, to <coughs> some yeah. other, hein? Yeah. Yambio. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, vous avez entendu, il y a une autre route de, du Nil de l'Ouest jusqu'au au, Maïdi, au Yambo, au Sondre. C'est une, une autre route. So, this one we shall have to see how to find it. Nous allons voir comment nous allons financer la construction de cette route. Because the people of the three countries want those roads. Parce que le peuple des trois pays Soudan du Sud, le Congo, Maïdi et l'Ouganda ont besoin de cette route. Les gens de l'Ouganda, du Congo, de l'Afrique, ils veulent la route de l'Obo. Une autre zone que j'ai discuté avec son excellence était la zone de l'électricité dans la République de l'Afrique. Un autre sujet de discussion avec son excellence, le président, est concerne la production d'électricité en République centrafricaine. Because in order to make investments easy, pour faciliter les, les investissements, especially manufacturing, surtout la fabrication, the issue of electricity is very crucial. La question de l'électricité est essentielle. Uh, even if it's not in all areas, if it is some place, même si ce n'est pas partout, mais dans certaines localités, c'est important. Reliable and, uh, and cheap. It doit être uh, payable et aussi. It, it will attract 
Some factories which then give the country a base. Qui va attirer des usines au pays qui constitue une base de, 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 de économique. A financial base. Une base financière. Even if it's in one part of the country, they don't have to be all over. Même si c'est dans un, une partie du pays, pas partout. So that joint commission you are, you are talking about should look at, at, at this. Donc euh, cette commission conjointe doit regarder cette question. Like uh, South Africa has got a lot of minerals. Par exemple, l'Afrique centrale a beaucoup de minerais. Which can be processed. Qui peuvent être traités. But the electricity to process them. Mais l'électricité pour les traiter. I, I, I have to study the details. Il faut étudier tous les détails. Il faut faire tous les détails des études. And then the area of agriculture. Alors cette question de l'agriculture. Because here we have a lot of experience. Nous avons beaucoup d'expérience ici concernant cette question. Here we never import any food. Nous n'importons pas de, la, de nourriture ici à Nouvelle. Instead we have a big problem of the food here, where to sell it. Et nous avons le problème de où vendre. C'est beaucoup, c'est une nourriture qui est beaucoup ici. So our people there can discuss with Central Africa and see how we can cooperate in. Donc j'invite euh, nos gens, nos, nos officiers, de discuter avec l'Afrique centrale comment on peut partager ça. In sharing our experience with them. En partageant notre expérience avec eux. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much. Pour l'honneur fait à mon pays, il a été fait à mon pays. Le honneur a été fait à mon pays. Je vous remercie. En même temps, on a effectué cette visite. By inviting me to come and pay this official visit Et à avec le peuple, le peuple and to share with the Ugandan people the moment of fraternity and of fierté national of your country, which is the 62 anniversary of your independence. And to participate and share with you the honor of the 62nd anniversary celebration. Le président Yuri Kabuta Museveni est sans équivoque l'une des grandes figures du panafricanisme. Président Yuri Kabuta Museveni is one of the most loved panafrican leaders, supporters of panafricanism. De la lutte pour l'indépendance politique et économique. For the independence of the economic and political stability. and African integration and against neocolonialism. A great visionary you have transformed en réalité, du peuple I know you have transformed the people of Uganda. The friendly people of Uganda. The brotherly people of Uganda you have transformed them. The, that hope of security, security, prosperity among the people is great. This, pan uh, this example of Pan-Africanism is a source of inspiration to current generations in Africa. Donc une it, it is then my biggest pleasure and gladness to be on your side, Et de prendre part à ce moment de souverain national. to be part and parcel, to take part in your national celebration. Au nom de ma et au mien in my own, in the name of my delegation and in my own name. I thank you very, very sincerely, as well as the government and the brother people of Uganda, for the fraternal and brother reception which they have reserved for us, and 
and all the taken preparations to make our visit very successful and good. Mr. President, I take this opportunity to express to you, Mr. President, and our brotherly people of Uganda, I to express my deep condolences to Uganda for the loss of your minister, Sarah Mateke, which happened. Because her personal and official support for the strengthening of the security between our two countries was very remarkable. Mr. President and dear brother, I have always uh, built the wish and the desire to have a working visit in Uganda, in Kampala, so as to give consistent and a real demonstration of the good cooperation between our people. a condition of cooperation for many, many, many years and which I believe will continue to grow. Since, since I was honored to come to power in my country since 2017, I expressed the idea of real political independence, national independence and autodetermination of my people, of my, of my country, and peace, security, and social and economic development as strong of the objectives of our people. Uh, with this policy of investing in gainful security cooperation between our, 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 between our countries and the respect of state sovereignty. As you know, when you talk about the underdevelopment in my can of my country, I wish to cite the problems of neocolonialism. Armed conflicts which have been promoted by foreign powers helped to stop the development of local resources, economic resources. And caused lack of enough economic development and lack of education for our citizens. Uh, according to the vision of Central Africa for the 2050 vision, development vision, the economic development system of Uganda
whose the economic development achievements of Uganda, which has shown successful international cooperation, could be well taken into account and probably not, why not adopted in my country. And I believe that my pleasure to visit Uganda in East Africa will lead to a long period of cooperation for our two countries and our two regions. Le président Museveni et moi-même partageons les mêmes ambitions de renforcement de la coopération bilatérale entre nos deux pays. Mr. President Museveni and myself. We do share, strongly share together, the ambition of strong bilateral cooperation between Uganda and Central Africa and my country. Dans le cadre des organizations sous -régionales, in, the, in the framework of sub-regional groupings international, international, and international groupings pour la paix, la sécurité, for peace, économique, security, and economic development, and the they will support our mutual cooperation and development. Bien évidemment, euh, nous sommes animés de la même volonté de renforcer la coopération bilatérale dans le domaine de la défense et de la sécurité. We are equally very opportune to go for closer cooperation, bilateral cooperation in of defense and security between our two countries. Je voudrais à ce sujet saluer les efforts des deux ministres de la Défense, Ougandais et Centrafricains, pour le travail abattu afin de parvenir à la signature du protocole de mise en œuvre du mémorandum d'entente en matière de formation militaire entre nos deux gouvernements. Uh, on this subject, I would like to congratulate and take advantage and praise the work of our ministers of defense who have had real good cooperation and discussions and developed an MOU, a protocol of cooperation in this field. Je voudrais également me féliciter du dynamisme et de l'ardeur des chefs d'état-major de leurs équipes techniques respectives qui n'ont ménagé aucun effort pour la mise en œuvre efficace de l'accord de coopération militaire qui lie notre pays. I would like also to praise the dynamism and reality of the cooperation, military cooperation led by the CDF officials between our country and Uganda to help sustain this cooperation. The Central African Republic takes the pride to praise Uganda and join for the st establishment of peace, unity, security, and stability in our countries. Mr. President. I came to give witness to you and to all the people of Uganda Toute ma, et la du my own gratitude and to show you the pleasure of all the people of Central Africa Republic because of the very fruitful fraternal relations and cooperation between our two countries that continues to grow daily.
And I would love to praise the mutual cooperation between our two countries that has led to the repatriation of 140 LRA back to their country in Central African Republic. Luganda is for the people of Central Africa an example of patriotism, of diversity cultural, of reconciliation national, of living ensemble, of solidarity and hospitality African. For the people in Central Africa, Ugandan actions are a source of patriotism, are a source of showing how we can work together to achieve the contradictions of earlier failures. Today the whole world is today the whole world is facing the issues like climatic degeneration, international <laughs> the, the big international misunderstandings, violent terrorism and exclusion and the COVID, uh, the, the disadvantages and terrible results of COVID-19. The people of Uganda are praised to continue to give this very good practice of cooperation, hard work for the, the development of their country. And concerning peace, nothing, nothing can be achieved, nothing good can be achieved without security and cooperation. As we've just finished uh, discussing with my brother, President Museveni, we are determined to develop between our two countries strategic cooperation in various fields, defense, security, intelligence, economy, commercial exchanges, agriculture, health, and infrastructure. Uh, aware that uh, our, two uh, our two people are closely maintained in their brotherhood, we also achieved some success. On the to achieve the construction of a corridor, a route that will provide a corridor between Central Africa and Uganda using some towns like Bombo. And the south the northwest side of South Sudan in order to develop our my country. We are looking forward to the establishment of a, a, a duo commission which is going between our two countries that is going to be in charge of all this cooperation and implementation of all these ideas. <laughs> Allow me therefore to wish as I conclude peace and prosperity to 
all our people in Uganda and Central African Republic and achieving mutual and permanent contribution to reinforce our bilateral relations. I would like to thank you very much for this occasion you give me. Viva Unity African. Viva Unity African. Merci, Monsieur le Président.